हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिसेज शैलजा दुड्डी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ टू एनालाइज द पिन जॉइंटेड प्लेन फ्रेम्स बाय मेथड ऑफ जॉइंट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर द स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू डिटरमाइन फोर्सेज इन ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ट्रस्ट बाय मेथड ऑफ जॉइंट to analyze the plane frames we are having these three methods that is method of joints method of section and graphical method these are the assumptions that we will consider during the analysis of the plane frame the ends of the members are pin connected whatever members are in the truss are there those should be pin connected or those should be hinged and the loads are act at the joints only whatever external loads are there they should act at the joints of the members only then we will neglect the self weight of the members for the analysis and the members are having either uniform cross section or the varying cross section the centroid is located along the same longitudinal axis now we will see how to calculate the forces in all the members of truss by method of joint in this method of joint we have to start from the joint where those all the forces should be in concurrent system so at any joint the members meeting and the loads acting constitutes a system of concurrent forces and we have to choose the joint where we should get only two unknowns or we should get at least one known force hence the two equations of equilibrium can be formed at the each joint okay so we have to find out a joint where we will have at least one known force so we can find out the two other unknown forces by using the equilibrium equations that is summation f of x is equal to 0 and summation f of y is equal to 0 so in this method after determining the reactions select the joint where there are only two unknown forces so first of all we have to find out the reactions of the truss at the supports then we have to choose the joint where we will have only two unknowns then by using the two equilibrium equation that is summation f of x and f of y we can find out the forces in all the members of the truss so in this problem we have to determine forces in all the members of the truss by using method of joint <coughs> in this problem a truss is supported to this vertical wall so it is fixed at this vertical wall now we have to find out the forces in all these members of the truss by using the method of joint first of all we have to find out this theta because we have to no the inclination of this force b c here they have given the dimensions of the each truss member so here the horizontal dimension is 3 meter for the each member like member cd and the vertical dimension is also given as 3 meter so if i consider tan theta is equal to y by x so here i will get theta is equal to 45 degree now we have to find out a joint where we will get at least one known force so from this entire fig truss at joint c we will have one known force and two unknown forces okay so here i have drawn the free body diagram of the joint c okay i have shown the direction of the force cd is as compression and the direction of the force cb is as tensile force okay so by using now by using the equilibrium equations we have to find out the summation f of x and f of y so first if i consider summation f of x so we will get force in cd minus force in cb cos 45 is equal to 0 so this will be equation 1 then summation f of y so here we will get minus 40 because it is acting towards the downward plus force in cb sin 45 is equal to 0 so we will get the force in cb is equal to 57 56.57 kilo newton if you get the positive answer so, so what it indicates 
whatever direction of the force you have considered it is correct so here we have considered the direction of force cb as a tensile force so here it is a tensile force now put the value of cb in equation 1 so you will get the force in cd is equal to 40 kilo newton by putting the value of cb in equation when we will get the value of cd is 40 kilo newton so we got the positive value what it means whatever we have assumed this nature of force cb compression it is correct now we have to consider a joint where at least we will get two unknown so i will go for the joint d so if i consider joint d what is the nature of force in dc it is compression that we have calculated so here it is 40 kN force is acting then nature of force de i will consider it as a compressive and the nature of force db i will consider it as a tensile force okay now i will apply the equilibrium equation that is summation f of x is equal to 0 so what are the horizontal forces that is minus force in dc plus force in de is equal to 0 so here we will get the force in de is equal to 40 kilo newton so we have assumed it as a compressive force so it is a compressive force because force in cd we calculated here it is 40 kilo newton then sum of vertical forces is equal to 0 so what are the vertical forces it is minus 40 plus force in db is equal to 0 so here you will get the force in db is equal to 40 kilo newton so we got the positive answer so whatever we have assumed it is the correct nature of the force okay now next we have to go for the joint b so i will draw the free body diagram of joint b here the nature of force bc we have calculated it as a tensile force then the force in member db it is also a tensile force i will consider the nature of force in ab it is a tensile force then we got the nature of force here i will consider the nature of force be as a compressive force now i will apply the equilibrium equations that is summation f of x is equal to 0 so this will be the components okay so what will the forces i will get this force in bc cos 45 plus force in be cos 45 minus force in ab is equal to 0 so this will be the equation 1 because we are getting two unknowns that is be and ab now i will go for summation of f of y so what are the vertical forces i will get here minus force in db then minus fbc sin 45 then plus force in member be sin 45 is equal to 0 we know the value of db it is 40 so it is minus 40 and again the value of bc how much we have calculated the value of bc it is 56.57 so here it is 56.57 sin 45 plus fbe sin 45 is equal to 0 so from this equation you will get force in fbe 113.14 kilo newton so here we got the positive value so what it means the force in member be is a compressive force now put this value in this equation 1 so here you will get the equation 1 that is force bc cos 45 plus force in be 
cos 45 minus force AB is equal to 0. So, value of BC is 56.57 cos 45 plus BE we have calculated it is 113.14 cos 45 minus force in AB is equal to 0. So, from this equation we will get the force in AB is equal to 120 kilo Newton. So, here also we got the positive value means we have assumed it is a tensile force. So, the nature of exact nature of the force in AB is tensile itself. So, likewise you have to find out the forces in all the members of the truss. So, it is the example given for the study by using above explanation try to solve this question or find out the forces in all the members of the truss. These are the answers, these are the references considered for the study. Thank you.